Hi, today we're gonna take a look at how to subtract mixed numbers with unlike denominators, but this time with regrouping. Let's start with a quick review. A mixed number, like this one, is the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. Also, a proper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is less than the denominator, the bottom number. One fourth is a proper fraction, given that the numerator one is less than the denominator, four. Nice. Are you ready for the example? In this example, we need to subtract 9 and 1 fourth minus 6 and 1 half. These two mixed numbers have different denominators. This time, we will work vertically. We put the first mixed number, that is 9 and 1 fourth, 1 fourth. Then we have the minus sign and the second mixed number, that is 6 and 1 half, 1 half. To find the difference of these two mixed numbers, we start by subtracting the fractions, 1 fourth minus 1 half. However, these two fractions have different denominators, so we need the least common multiple of the denominators or the least common denominator. The denominators are 4 and 2. Come over here, 4 and 2. The first multiples of 4 are 4, 8, then we have 12, 16, 20, and so on. The first multiples of 2 are 2, then we have 4, then comes 6, that is correct, then we have 8, 10, and so on. The smallest number that we can find on both lists is 4. Then 4 is the winner, 4 is the least common denominator. Now, for each fraction, we need an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 4. Let's start with 1 fourth. However, this fraction already has a denominator of 4, so we don't need to make any changes. We just put the same fraction, and that fraction is 1 fourth. Don't forget, the whole number in this case is 9. Let's continue with 1 half. We need an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 4. Pay attention. By one number, should we multiply 2 to get 4? By 2, that is correct, because 2 times 2 give us 4. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top, and 1 times 2 give us 2. 1 half and 2 fourths are equivalent fractions. They represent the same value. Don't forget the minus sign and the whole number, 6 in this case. One more time, we are going to try to subtract these two mixed numbers. To find the difference, we will start by subtracting the fractions. 1 fourth minus 2 fourths. These two fractions have the same denominator, 4, 4. We put 4 one more time and we continue by subtracting the numerators, 1 minus 2. 1 minus 2, hold on. We cannot subtract 2 from 1, because 2 is bigger than 1. The problem in this case is that the second fraction, 2 fourths, is bigger than the first one, 1 fourth. We can see that problem over here. Don't forget that 2 fourths and 1 half are equivalent fractions. They represent the same value. The second fraction, 1 half, is greater than the first one, 1 fourth. So what are we gonna do? We need to regroup. Pay attention. Instead of writing 9, we're going to write 8, 8 plus 1. Because 8 plus 1 gives us 9, it's the same. As you can see, 1 is located in the column of the fractions. So we need to rewrite 1 as a fraction, and that fraction will be 4 fourths. 4 fourths, don't forget that we can also see a fraction as a division. And 4 divided by 4 gives us 1. We are using the number 4 because these two fractions have a denominator of 4. Now it's gonna be really, really easy. Let's continue with the whole number 8, and then we need to add these two fractions with like denominators. 4 on the left, 4 on the right, 4 on this side, and we continue by adding the numerators, and 1 plus 4 give us 5. The second mixed number is 6 and 2 fourths, and 2 fourths. Now, to find the difference of these numbers, we'll start by subtracting the fractions, 5 fourths minus 2 fourths. These fractions have the same denominator, 4, 4, 4, one more time, and next, we subtract the numerators, 5 minus 2 give us 3. The difference of the fractions is 3 fourths. Finally, we find the difference of the whole numbers, 8 minus 6 give us 2. The final answer is 2 and 3 fourths. We can copy that answer over here, 2 and 3 fourths. Therefore, 9 and 1 fourth minus 6 and 1 half give us 2 and 3 fourths. 
That's all for today. If you want to learn more about mixed numbers, check out this playlist. And here you have another video. Have a good one and see you next lesson. Bye!